Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Wendy here from Little Ness Crafts. As you know, I'm on Rachel and Bella's um, uh, design team and um, what they've done is they've um, formed a, another of their lovely, uh, brilliant collaborations um, and this time she's um, uh, featuring a special guest uh, designer who's Angela Kerr, the lovely Angela Kerr and what they've done is they've produced a beautiful kit. Half of it's actually been on sold on Angela's uh, websites and the other half is being sold in um, Rachel and Bella's websites and the information of those are in the description box below and for those of you who've bought it already you'll know that there's big discount saving of 40% at the moment so anybody who hasn't um, bought it and would like to um, join in um, feel free to do so and um, all the details that you need to purchase the, uh, the uh, full kit is in the information um, in my information box below on this video. So the um, collaboration started on the 15th of March and it's running until the 15th of April. By the time you see this video, it, it will be coming towards the end. So I do hope that you've enjoyed seeing what everybody's produced so far um, and that you've been able to you know, follow along. And um, I've been following, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be following along because I'm actually filming this video the day before it actually starts. I'm trying to be really well prepared this time because I'd like to, to do um, a few different um, projects for you to follow um, to give you a few ideas. Um, now, <clears throat> what Rachel did, as you know, is she gave us all, uh, all some prompts. These are all the people that I'll have been that you'll have seen and, and followed so far. And um, mine is going to be in April the 11th, which is a couple of days before it actually finishes. Um, and the project that I'm doing is gatefold garden pages. So without further ado, I will um, show you what I've, I've done. I'll just move those out of the way. And what I've produced, the first one that I've done is this little gatefold project. And it's really, really simple. So anybody who's never made a gatefold um, project before, for all the beginners out there, um, it's dead easy. It's really easy. Basically, all it is, if I move it to one side, uh, in fact, I'll show you what it is first. I'll just undo this little bow. And that's the project opened up. And inside, I won't undo the ribbon because I don't want to fray the ends and ends too much. Um, it's got a little pocket that comes as part of the kit. There's a um, tag there. And there's another pocket in the back, which I've slipped a tag in. And what you do with the whole the whole project, I've, do, I've got to put some ribbon in the... Um, in those two tags um, but once you've actually done it up you can stick this project on a page in your journal and I'm going to be putting mine on this page here um, <coughs> it'll go on any of the pages really but I've picked this um, polka dot polka dot page there what I've done is I've fussy cut some of the flowers out off one of the backing pages put it in that corner and then I'm going to glue that onto there and I hope you think it looks really pretty and um, it's so simple because the designs on the um, on the paper really fall lovely for a, a, gate, a gatefold card so I'll move that out of the way and I'll show you how I've made it so this one I'm going to do it in the opposite colour there are two pages to this kit you've got it in blue and you've also got it in this pretty um, green lemony, lemony colour. So um, basically you print one out and it doesn't matter about printing on the back because you, you're not going to see that anyway. And basically all I've done is fold the A4 in half. And I've kept the fold on the bottom because that can act as your pocket. And then 
all I'm going to do is score uh, two inches down either side of here and I'll just get my um, <clears throat> little scoring tool out of my pocket here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still suffering with this cough. That's lingering. So, with my pencil, I'll just make a little mark there at two inches. And another little mark there at two inches. And hopefully it'll um, meet us in the middle. So if I get my ruler, and I'll just put this straight on my board. Score down. Fold that one in. You do have to be careful a little bit because it's folded. Um, you want to keep the two edges of the pages together. So that's one. And then I'll turn it round the other way and go to my marks. There we go. matched in the middle. So using my bone folder just score those nicely and then with my glue what I did I ran along the edges so make sure that you've got the closed part at the bottom Just run a bead of glue along that edge, making sure that they're together. And this glue is really fast drying, so it will help you. Um, this is Arts, Arts glit Art Glitter Glue, and uh, we'll do the same the other side. Just butted together. And I'll hold it a minute just to make sure that they're nice and adhered. There we go. And then what I did, I used a corner punch just to round off the edges. So that's the top, it's got a little bit crease there, I'll, I'll smooth it out. Any creases that you do get, if you get your bone folder and just rub them, they magically vanish. So you can really smooth them out, there we go. So there's my pocket. 
And then what I did, what I did, what I did, I got my um, copper dial and I chose some lovely bright eyelets. I've got blue ones in the other one, so I'm going to do the opposite. And on the design, um, where you've got this little fleur de lis, I just made a hole in the centre there. And popped in an eyelet. As you can see, they're virtually um, <clears throat> in line with one another. So I did the same again on there. Move those out the way. Pop in this other eyelet. Now I've just used the um, copy of paper to, to do this one because of it being doubled over it it does give you um, sort of 180 200 GSM uh, card so it's fairly fairly robust and then um, what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to pop a bit of glue in this top part here where it's uh, causing a few problems just get it to steer, stick down Stop it getting creased again. So there we are. Lovely. <clears throat> and then inside um, the pocket, you can pop one of your tags. Now I've pre prepped my tags, but I haven't actually put any ribbons in them. What I've done is I've fussy cut them out, I've put an eyelet in, I've machine round them, and I've put some of this lovely. Uh, background paper on the back because it'd be nice nice to write on and then that will sit nicely inside your pocket there and then inside this one we'll put another pocket so I've got the pocket just uh, found it and um, I've already cut it out ready and this is part of the um, ephemera add-on kit in Angela's half of the kit and all I've done is lightly ink around the pocket and I've not machined around this one because not everybody has got a sewing machine so I've machined around one but I'm going to leave this one as is and my, my sewing machine was playing up a little bit as well I couldn't seem to get the tensions right on the stitches so um, rather than it be all knotted up on the back I thought I wouldn't machine stitch this one so all I've done is I've popped that in between and sort of used those two curly bits on the uh, on the tendrils there to level it off is that straight? This needs to come up a smidgen. There we go. And then same again. I fussy cut the um, tags out and machine, machine stitched and I've popped an eyelet in and uh, um, finished it off with a, a washer at the back there. So that can, I can stick that in because there's plenty of room for this pocket. And a lovely face pocket poking out the top there. The other one sits nicely in there. And then I've got some lovely minty green satin ribbon to finish off the bow. Finish off with a nice little piece of ribbon there. 
close it up. One side's longer than the other. It took me ages to get this right. Try to. Uh, there we go. Excuse me. <clears throat> fingers and thumbs and there we are that's your first gatefold and I'm going to pop that in the other signature excuse my arms going across the screen and we'll find a page for this one to sit in I did put the other one towards the back so I think I'll do the same. That's the opposite polka dot. And that might be nice because it's got the uh, lovely candy stripe. So I think that blends in nicely with that one. Let me just move those and I'll pop this back in my glue. Let's have a look. Let's just check out another page. Maybe the one before it looks lovely, but I think I do prefer it on that page. There we are. So, I hope you like that first project. Really simple and um, easy to start off with. Um, and they do look lovely, the colour, the lovely spring colours. And uh, I hope you will stay for the rest of this video. Um, there might be a slight pause in it, um, but I will be bringing you another project very shortly. So there we go. Two gatefold um, projects for your spring journal. Hi everyone, I'm back again with the second project um, as part of the um, Rachel and Bella Crafts um, collaboration, which is a garden story. And you'll find it under the hashtag Journal Jigsaw um, for those of you who are, just, who are just tuning in and perhaps haven't been following along for the past uh, two, two weeks or so. Um, it's been running from the 15th of March and it goes up until the 13th of April. And I'm sharing my day with uh, Bumblebee Crafts. So um, once you've finished watching this journal, uh, sorry, watching this video, if you want to pop along to Bumblebee Crafts, um, because she's sharing the same prompt as me, which is gatefold garden pages. Um, the first part of the video, which you've seen already, is a gatefold project and um, so is this one, but it's a little bit more, um, it's not hard, but there's a it's a little bit more involved in the pre than the previous one. And what you'll need for this project is these three pieces of paper. Um, so this one's from Rachel's um, kit. And the other pages are from Angela's. Oh, no, that's from Rachel's kit as well. And then this this page is from Angela's kit. The um, the one with the um, blue background and white and white spots. Um, so what I've done, I've prepped my pages already because I you don't really want to sit watching me cutting out and measuring. But I can give you the measurements of um, what you'll actually need. You'll also need some white card stock um, which I've pre-cut out ready which you can see here and it's just plain white card stock and I've used um, 160 uh, GSM so it's got a little bit of um, thickness to it 
um, and obviously you're going to be like putting layers of paper on so that will strengthen it up a little bit more and you'll be sticking it on your page as well in your journal so what you need to do is um, I'll give you the measurements of mine but it depends on what size page that you're going to be putting it in if you're following along um, so if you're making a smaller journal you'll need to measure your journal page and uh, my journal pages which I'll show you now are just half the size of um, an A4 this, this is one of the signatures and as you can see I've pre-scored this page and it's going to fit in my journal quite snugly on one of my journal pages like that. So uh, whatever your whatever your size, I mean, if you're making a tiny little pocket journal like that, you'll need to reduce it down, you know, a lot to fit to fit on uh, a quarter of the size of an A an A4 sheet. So if you want to take my measurements, this piece of card is using this uh, old rule of mine it's 26.7 centimeters in width which is which converts to um, 10 and just over 10 and a half um, just over 10 and a half inches that way and then in height we've got 20 centimeters by 8 inches and then what I've done I've scored it at two and a half inches on the left hand side which is approximately give or take six centimeters and the other side is slightly more it's just over two and a half um, and about six and a half six and a half centimeters so I obviously didn't get that dead dead central but it doesn't really matter um, as long as it fits on your page <clears throat> so then what I've done is I've taken um, this page and I've cut out that section there and taken a little bit off the bottom because that is going to be my background page in the um, in this project now so what I'll do is I'll do that on now excuse the back in on there you could actually have it that way around if you wanted as well you could actually do that which would look quite nice but um, I like this one so I'm going to let's get into the corners so it sits nicely and it's not too close to the edge because you don't want it squeezing out there we go I'm going to turn it that way around and what I've done is I've made it slightly smaller because I don't want it curling up into the edges now I've got a tiny bit of wriggle room with this if I'm quick it's just a bit close to that side so Come this way a little bit there we go so that's the background piece there we go and then on the front section what I've done is I've taken this page and I've cut out the shed the garden shed so as you can see there I've sort of centralized it so I cut it down there and then I divided it into two and then um, I put it against my the sides here and 
measured and just cut it with um, my scissors. So what I'm going to do before I pop that down, I'm just going to ink the corners just to get rid of the white a little bit. But I'm I'm on this shabby and bright section, so I don't want to do it too heavy. Um, you know, because I don't want it to look too grungy. So uh, I'm just going to give it a little bit just around the edges there and along there. Just um, on that side and then the same on this side. A little bit there, a little bit along there and along the bottom and also on the inside. So I hope that I'm in frame. May as well do along the top there as well, and along the bottom there, and up on the inside of that one. There we go. A little bit along there too, and a little bit on the inside of there. There we go. way round and then what we're going to do is glue that onto the front of there so that's uh, easily done I hope you've all been enjoying uh, the collaboration so far um, when you see this video um, we'll be coming towards the end of it really because I'm on the 11th of April as you know if you're watching this and um, it finishes on the 13th so um, I hope that you have enjoyed it and haven't, haven't uh, it, it's been fantastic really um, there's been some wonderful projects Everybody's worked so hard and uh, to give us some lots of info, you know, give us lots of info, inspiration. And uh, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've, I have been following along um, with the makes because I'm, I'm doing a, a journal. So I'm hoping to um, uh, do a flip through um, of when it's completed. So that you can see the finished project with everybody's uh, projects in that I've I've uh, done, and I have made something for ne <laughs> for nearly everybody's what every you know what everybody's made. So um, that's been really good. So I'm going to keep it as a keepsake, as a aid to memoir of all the fantastic uh, projects that has been you know part of this this collaboration so there we go so that's your shed i could have actually butted that up but um with this art glitter glue it's really um quick drying so uh, i should have gone a bit a bit closer to the edge on there but not to worry you get the uh, the gist of it so this is the gatefold section of the um um project piece and then what I'm going to do is uh, put the blue spotted on this side and make sure I've got the right piece because one is slightly wider than the other I think it's that one yeah so we'll put that down there so as I say this one's fairly straightforward once you've measured out your papers to fit on the, the page um, it is fairly straightforward after that 
so I'll put that piece down there trying to uh, avoid it going into the corner too much so that it folds nicely and it does so there we go now we're not going to stick this piece straight down um, and I'll tell you what I've made what I did I took some scraps of paper and I've made just a little little booklet really with a, a few just a few pages in and um, I took my punch and um, I've had this for a long time uh, um, and I just punched the ed edges to make it a bit lacy and I used a piece of the um, one of my scraps from I'm um, cutting out one of the papers and then I used one of um, uh, the sentiments now this isn't a sentiment from uh, this kit that Angela made but it's what a, a sentiment from one of Angela's older um, garden themed kits that she made and I'd got some spares so I've put that on the front of it and then I've just punched in two eyelets um, holes for some eyelets and threaded some ribbon and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that down on there and it's going to be like a little notebook on the inside of there so the measurements for this are for those of you who want the measurements it is six and six point two five centimeters or a smidgen over two and a half inches and then the length of it is 14 centimetres or five and three quarter inches and it, it just fits snugly onto the inside of that page. Now you could actually use it as a flip over if you wanted to so that you can you can take it out. So you could do something like that. But obviously you'd need to put something on the back because it does obscure your gatefold. So I'm actually going to glue this one in. I'm not going to go near the holes there because the glue will seep out the bottom. So there we are. And we shall pop that in there. So that's on the inside there, the little booklet. And then what I thought was we we'll put a little pocket on this centre part and this is part of the kit in, in um, Angela's kit it's one of the pockets so um, you just cut it out um, did I do the buttonhole no and what I've done is I've just put um, punched a little semicircle out of there so it's easier to get the tags and things out and um, we'll put some glue on there and along there and we'll pop that central into there there we go and then also part of the kit is some of these lovely cards. And um, so I've just cut them out and I've backed them with um, some, uh, one of Angela's backing papers, just to take the whiteness off. And just a quick ink round there. And we'll slot that in there, Mr. Squirrel popping out. And then this one, I think, is also from Angela's kit. So there we go. And then just to pretty up the pocket a little bit, I've got some lace. Let me just clean the nozzle on that. And I'm going to pop the lace along there. That 
substrate. And then I've got some little floral trim. So we'll pop some glue on the backs of here. There we go. And if you follow Angela Kerr, you'll know she likes her lacy, her lacy trims. She makes some beautiful uh, journals. And I do, I do follow her and um, follow in her footsteps. And I've made quite a few myself. <laughs> um, so there we are. And then what I've done is I've cut out one of the tags um, from the kit. And I've machined round it and I've backed it with um, one of Angela's backing pages. And then I've just put in a little piece of uh, uh, crinkle ribbon um, in the eyelet there. And that can sit in the background, like so. And then on this side, I thought what we'd do is um, put some little pockets so part of the kit, you'll find these little envelopes and um, I'm not sure if they're on, I think they must be on Angela's because it's got Angela's backing paper. You'll find these little tiny pockets on Angela's section. So I've taken two of them. I have taken three, but I can't seem to find it. So whether I've popped it in on another page, I don't know. Um, so... We'll use the other piece of paper and we'll just use two. Um, so what I'm going to do is pop my second blue dotted paper there. And then I'm going to tuck it behind here. So what I've done is I've made up the envelope. And, um, you know, you just cut around it with your scissors, ink the edges and then and glue down e each side. And then stick it together and you've got yourself a lovely little small pocket so I filled it with some of the ephemera out the kit and what I'm going to do is just put some glue on the top of the envelope not too far not too far down and then what I need to do is work out where I'm actually going to pop it down oops so I pop it near the edge I don't want it too far up and just so that the envelope closes easily there we go pop it down there so that's one and then the second one this one opens up, up a different on in the opposite side and all I've done is I've put a piece of um, ribbon on the bottom with a little floral trim and we're going to do the same there. I've glued it together. Um, so we'll pop some glue on there. And then we'll slide it under here. There we go. Press that down nicely. And then we can glue the whole the whole sheet down then. So pop those down there. Daisy, make sure that we're nice and level. I'm just going to take a smidgen off the bottom of there. It's just oops, a daisy. I'm just knocking everything off my table. There we are. 
So there we are. That's the inside of your project. So you've got a pocket there, little pocket there, you've got a pocket here, and then you've got a little note, a little notepad there. And you can dress up these um, little uh, pockets a little bit more if you want. And then on the front, we've got this and that. And then, oops a daisy, to close it what we need to do is um, get some ribbon and I'm going to round off my corners as well. See what, uh, just to, I like the uh, edges a little bit neater. So I'm going to just do that on each of the corners. And it just helps um, stop your corners from bending over. There we are. So we'll just ink those corners a little bit. And then we'll get some some ribbon. And then when we're going to put it on the page, if you put that behind, There we go. And that's your second gatefold project. Um, you can put pockets on the front of here if you wish and uh, add some more flowers, which I was going to do. You can also add some more garden tools. Let me take that off the front for now. Um, You can also add some of the things that we've been making. I made some of these little dried, air dried clay. So you could put a hole in the corner and add one of those into the corner, which I might do. And then you've got some of your garden tools. And uh, one of the other projects that we were following was a lady who used um, Oh, I've forgotten what it's called now. Um, I've put it, oh no, here it is. I've forgotten what it's called. Glossy accents. So, you know, you could put your Wellington boots down there and have two pairs side by side. Look, I might do that actually. You've got an adult pair and then a, a baby pair side by side. And put those down there. So you've got mums and daughters. And then you've got a big garden spade, which you could put. Um, and I, I think I might go and get my hole punch and pop that up there as a closure. Or you could tie it on your ribbon, you know, have it hanging from your ribbon at the front here. Um, so now that we've stuck these two down, what I've done is I've put a little flower and a butterfly in there and I've just added a little butterfly on there. These were die cuts from Tattered Lace, one of my Tattered Lace dies, um, which I thought looked quite nice. And then um, I've also put some flowers along the bottom of that tag there and um, put those in there. And then what I thought I'd do was fill this space here. 
and um, so I've done some more fussy cutting and uh, cut out some of the uh, flowers from the kits and you've got loads to choose from because there's some fussy cuts in Rachel's kit and there's also some fussy cuts in Angela's kit so um, to get rid of this dead space here I thought what I'd do is have a play and see what we can put in just to uh, pretty it up a little bit. There's loads of lovely daffodils. We've had quite a nice show in our garden as well. Um, my husband planted some along our fence and uh, they've been rather glorious. Whoops, the daisy, let me take that out and start again. Try and layer them so that it goes all the way up along the sides. There's a page, lovely hyacinth there, which smell beautiful. I want to take that leaf off, I think, because it's right on the fold. So rather than not use it, I'll just follow that leaf there. Keep that one because you can tuck it in. That's better. So what I could do is tuck it down there or up there to add a bit of something somewhere else, maybe along the edge there. And tuck that because in nature flowers get tucked behind each other, so you don't see them them all, and then. Maybe pop that one along the top there. So we'll have a look, shall we? Anything else? Well, there's a nice white one too. There we go. That's quite a nice spread along there, which looks right nice and pretty. And then we could add a sentiment and I have used a mixture of sentiments will that one fit down there that's rather nice isn't it blossom where you are planted Just make sure it folds. Put that there. Yeah, so what we'll do is so I don't lose the spaces. Just partially glue them down. There we are take those out of the way, take that leaf out of the way and then So that's that. And then this leaf went along the edge somewhere, didn't it? So we can pop that down there somewhere, like so, with the hyacinth. And this daffodil. Oh, 
and then this one. Maybe have that one. Oh no, I just have to miss that little one, I think. Unless we've got a smaller sentiment, let's have a look what we've got in here. to life is happiness. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? And then we'll see that other little daffodil there, won't we? Yeah. Maybe I could actually lift it if it hasn't stuck down totally. Yeah, let's just tuck it behind there or in front of there, shall I say. Just slide that up a bit. Shadows of the corner. And then pop a dog of glue. There we are. And I've left some of these up so they're not totally glued down because I like the uh, the dimension. So there we are. So I do hope you like this project. Excuse the video. Only I've got, got several interruptions, so it's been a bit of a stop and start, but I'm going to do some editing now and hopefully I'll get it all put back together. So in some semblance of order. Uh... Hi everybody, you're going to think I'm absolutely do lally tap. Um, I forgot to show you the page, you know, the project actually in my journal. So um, I've come back and uh, I'm going to do another clip. Um, so here we go. So that's the project. You've got your two little pockets there. You've got your little notebook there. You've got a tag there. I'm, I was going to put a larger tag and there is room. So I think I might put a bigger tag in there as well. Um, but I've, I've got to make that and, and uh, I'll add it later on and you can see it when I, I do the flip through of the journal. So they're the two um, gatefold uh, openings there and I'm going to put a different closure on here as well um, which I'll show you in in the next video so this is one of my signatures and this is the, the other signature I've got and this is the um, bright and shabby section um, with Angela's papers and then um, I've got another two sections here which you can see it's going to be a, a really bumper journal um, with uh, the um, rustic and grungy pages belonging to uh, Rachel and Bella from their kit. And uh, I was going to make one big journal, but as you can see, if I put those together, it's going to be 
sort of <laughs> six inch spine um, by the time we finished and packed it with all all the goodies so but it wouldn't it would be nice to keep it as, as one big journal so I'm going to try my best to do that um, so there we go so let me find a page and looking that one looks a little bit fuller than this one um, I'll go back to my other project see if I can find it in here my other gatefold um, the other gatefold project that I did where is it there it is so you've got that one just as a recap um, and it was a bit of a smaller project and that has got a larger tag so if I take that out and show you in this one um, what it looks like you know there's there's still oodles of room in there for you to you know put another tag um, but I'll leave it as is just for now because I, I like to see that flower as well actually so I'll pop this one back in here oh I've done it now haven't I let's undo the ribbon so I can see what I'm doing properly and uh in the back not actually inside there we are and all I've done here is um, I've put a bird on the front and I've put a butterfly and I've used some glossy accents and some stickles um, on the front of there and on this page I've, I've done a ruffle um, with some of Angela's uh, material uh, samples out of uh, one of her bundles and use one of her sentiments and I've put some glossy accents on the leaves and on my little bee there and I think it ties in with that page quite quite nicely so that's that so now I'm going to put the gatefold in this side in this section yeah, excuse me one moment. I just make room on my desk so we can see what we're doing. Try and find a nice page to put it on. And they're all lovely pages. I'm going to show you that as well. That's from one of my uh, one of my kits, but I filled it with um, flowers from Rachel. Rachel's kit so that's one of the other projects that was done and then I've used some of Angela's doilies in here and oh there's a nice page yeah I think that would look lovely on there so I'm going to pop it on there but I won't glue it now because I want to find some nice nice ribbon I am um, I wasn't happy with the uh, with the lacy ribbon. Um, let me just check and I'll go through and see if there is another page because that is yellow, the background on there. Although you can't see much. I'm just thinking it was maybe a bit too busy. Let's have a look and see what we've got. In the way of pages, there's another gatefold project that I did there. Um, how about how about on there? there well, there's a spotted page there which if I took that off that's one of uh, 
the paper bags that I got from Angela. You know, it's funny when you start looking for places to put your projects, some pages sing out to you and you know that you you found the right the right spot and then you put it on another page and you think oh no although you like the project and you like the, the pages but it just doesn't sit right see that's that I'm quite happy with there yes I think I think I'll pop it there and then you've got the vellum page next to it I think the other page the yellow page with having the gardener, um, it just seemed that it, the page was really, uh, really busy. Or oh, we've got a page next door as well. There we go. You could always make this into a tuck spot as well. Now that looks even better to me. So, yep, yeah, sold. Well, um, stick it on there and we'll keep that as was on that page there and then you could glue it along the top along the bottom and down there and then you could tuck something un underneath um, but I'm not going to do that because it is quite a, a thick project and when I put the closures on, if I do decide to do that, they do stick out a little bit. So I don't know, I'll have to see how they sit. If not, I'll go back to my original plan and use the ribbon. Um, so I do hope you, you like that project. And um, um, please follow everybody's um, projects as well and, and like and comment on each of the product projects because there are, is prizes to be had at the end. What happens is Rachel usually does a draw about a week after the uh, collaboration's closed. Um, she gathers all the, the, the names of the people who have liked and commented on every single video, um, puts them into a draw, and then um, you, you, know, you win uh, a prize. Lots of the people that have been taking part in this collaboration have donated digi, digi kits and uh, um, other projects, you know, even um, journals as well. Um, so you might be fortunate enough to uh, uh, win one of those. Um, so uh, good luck, everybody. And I will hope, hope you have enjoyed it and that you'll join us in the next collaboration. And thanks for taking the time to comment on my videos. It's much appreciated. Take care then. Bye.